Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has commissioned Samudra Pratap, the Indian Coast Guard's first pollution control vessel, in Goa. Built indigenously by Goa Shipyard Limited, the ship features advanced oil spill detection, recovery, and firefighting systems. With a range of 6,000 nautical miles and speeds exceeding 22 knots, it strengthens India's pollution response and maritime safety capabilities across the exclusive economic zone. Based in Kochi, the vessel marks a major capability upgrade. Following DAC approval, the Indian Air Force will overhaul its MI-17 helicopter fleet to extend operations till 2040. Around 150 MI-17 V-5s, vital for transport, logistics and high-altitude missions, will undergo comprehensive refurbishment. Work will be shared between Indian repair depots and Russian facilities. The Life Extension Program ensures uninterrupted medium lift capability, bridging the gap until induction of the indigenous IMRH in the post-2035 timeframe. India's NIB Limited has unveiled the Suryastra multi-caliber rocket launcher, highlighting a major leap in long-range precision strike capability. Developed with Israeli PULS technology and mounted on a BML 6x6 platform, the system supports rapid mobile operations. Backed by a Rs 293 crore emergency contract, Suryastra can strike targets up to 300 kilometers away, offering flexible multi-caliber firepower while strengthening indigenous defense manufacturing. Pakistan has conducted a flight test of its Tamor air-launched cruise missile, reportedly missing the designated target area. Imagery suggests the missile remains structurally intact, pointing to possible guidance or terminal navigation issues rather than propulsion failure. While near-misses may still damage soft targets, accuracy is crucial against hardened assets. The use of aging Mirage 3 aircraft also raises integration challenges. Future tests will determine the system's true precision strike credibility. A Sukhoi SJ-195B superjet has been sighted in Russia, wearing HAL branding and Indian flag decals, signaling preparations for Wings India 2026. The aircraft reflects Russia's push for import-substituted civil aviation platforms under the SJ-100 program. Its static display aims to attract Indian airlines and policymakers, especially in the 95-seat regional jet segment aligned with UDAN. House Visual Association hints at possible industrial cooperation, including MRO or component roles. However, this appearance is best seen as strategic outreach and confidence building, not a precursor to immediate acquisition by Indian operators. India's light combat aircraft Tejas marks 25 years since its maiden flight on January 4, 2001, a defining moment in indigenous fighter development. From the first flight of TD-1 to becoming a key pillar of IAF modernization, Tejas has evolved into a capable 4.5-generation platform. Despite delays, engine supply issues, and two tragic accidents, the program delivered crucial design expertise and industrial depth. With nearly 180 MK-1A fighters on order and future variants ahead, Tejas stands as a symbol of persistence, proving India will never again start from zero in combat aircraft development. India has taken a major step towards self-reliance in unmanned aviation as DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment issued an expression of interest for an indigenous high-altitude long-endurance remotely piloted aircraft system. The six-ton class platform is designed for high-altitude I-STAR and strike missions. Open exclusively to Indian vendors, the Development Come Production Partner model places industry at the core of development, production, and life cycle support. The initiative aims to build domestic capability in large UAV design, propulsion, autonomy, and certification, strengthening strategic autonomy while reducing reliance on imported systems. The Light Combat Aircraft MK-2 program has received a major timeline boost, with DRDO Chief Dr. Samir V. Comet indicating a first flight in June or July 2026, 
Speaking on the Defense Ministry's Raksha Sutra podcast, he highlighted steady progress in design finalization and system integration. With rollout expected by early April 2026, the projected flight window suggests an accelerated testing phase. If achieved, it will enable faster flight trials, early issue resolution, and smoother production planning. The announcement reflects strong institutional confidence and urgency behind India's next-generation fighter development. India's sea-based nuclear deterrent is nearing a major milestone, as the fourth and final Arihunt-class ballistic missile submarine S-4 Star is likely to be named INS Arisudan. Launched last year, the submarine is expected to be commissioned in 2027, following INS Aritaman in 2026. Bigger and more capable than INS Arihunt, Arisudan will carry long-range K-4 nuclear missiles, strengthening India's assured second strike capability. As work accelerates on nuclear attack submarines and new leases from Russia, the Indian Navy continues to expand its undersea dominance across the Indo-Pacific. Safran has confirmed that its jointly developed turbofan with GTRE will deliver between 120 and 140 kilonewtons of thrust, defining the propulsion roadmap for India's AMCA fighter. The 120 kilonewton version will power the AMCA MK2, while a 140 kilonewton variant could support a heavier, more capable future derivative. Though not a variable cycle engine, the design allows upgrade pathways toward adaptive technologies. This scalable engine family gives India long-term flexibility, enabling AMCA growth through the 2030s, while laying the foundation for future sixth-generation propulsion ambitions. DRDO Chief Dr. Samir V. Comet has announced that India's advanced medium combat aircraft will see its first prototype rolled out by the end of 2028, with a maiden flight planned in 2029. Speaking at the Tejas 25 seminar, he said the program has moved beyond concept stages into a time-bound development phase. Designed as a twin-engine 25-ton stealth fighter, AMCA will feature internal weapons, sensor fusion and networked operations. Drawing on Tejas era lessons, DRDO is pursuing parallel development and stronger industry participation to accelerate flight testing and future induction. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.